barely see the screen. But I'm here. Just got out of the court. Come down here to where it all began to do an update. Case was dismissed. They say it was dismissed due to COVID-19. I'm thinking they're using that excuse to get rid of it. But we'll find out when I file the suit, because I'm filing it. He put his hand, they put their hands on me. They should never put their hands on me. And he had me cuffed to a hospital bed. In front of all that medical staff, humiliating me. He's gonna pay for that. I don't know how good this thing's coming in. There's the cat's guy. He just smirked. I sent you another email, okay. Having trouble with that email address, but because it's just on a phone. And it's one of pay here pay as you go phones. It's not this phone. But it gives that phone gives me friggin' trouble. Okay, there's a wind blowing here because it's whistling in my ears, so I don't know how y'all are doing there. Yeah, they had nothing. They definitely had nothing. And they know it. And they're using that COVID crap as a reason to dismiss it. Here we are back here where it all started. Let me put my drink down here. If it won't fall over. There, it won't fall over. It's muggy out here. Hot. Looks like it might rain, man. I left my umbrella way down there at the QT in the truck. In the old truck. So like I said, we're back here where it all started. There's a security guy right there. Here's this person turning around, look at this. This is somebody that doesn't work here, turning around. So it's publicly accessible right there. That made it publicly accessible, just so the people can turn around here. Whoa, that zoomed in fast, didn't it? I'm shaky. God. I need to get a gimbal, don't I? Yeah, y'all yell at me. Tell me to get a gimbal. Come on. You can do it. I know you can. But anyway, like I said, charges dismissed. They say it's unable to prioritize because of COVID-19. I think it's, they knew they were wrong because that sign right over there above that car says that this is 3305 Pelton Street and he wrote me up he charged me for being on 3145 South Tryon Street which is behind that gate so he charged me for being on some place that I wasn't on so he lied about that so then he charged me with resisting saying I stiffened up when he tried to put my hands behind my back, I stiffened up. But the problem is, it's perfectly legal to resist an unlawful arrest. Good afternoon. How are you doing today? Fine. How about you? I'm pretty good, pretty good, hanging in there. Still breathing. That's a good thing. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Always good when you're still breathing. 
this. I don't know how long I'm going to be here. I got long pants on and a thick polo and it's warm and muggy out here. So, I don't know. Being stiff isn't resistant. Yeah, you're right. It's not. But that's what he said in his report thing. Under a swore that I was trespassing on 3145 South Tryon Street under oath when I was never on it. I never passed that gate right there. I was standing over there underneath that sign that says 3305 Pelton Street when they first approached me. And then I was walking down those railroad tracks right there that that car is facing on, heading off the property when he attacked me. This looks wobbly. I got a feeling it's going to show up wobbly on the live feed. Sorry about that, but my hands shake. My camera's a little more steady. The phone's not quite as steady. I'm braced on a fire hydrant in my knee right now. I'm squatting down. So when I try to get up, my knees are going to get mad at me. <laughs> but that's the update. And now, since that's been disposed of, I can go ahead and start on that 1983 suit. Deprivation of rights under color of law. And then estate suits, too. Got him for false imprisonment. Armed robbery, because he took my wallet out of my pocket and rifled through it while wearing a firearm. That would be armed robbery. I'm pretty sure I can get on one. And kidnapping. He even admitted in his report that I resisted when he tried to walk me towards the vehicle. So that is kidnapping. We're just going to watch these people go in and out for a while. Keep an eye on them. He was waving at the lady behind me. She's having her a cigarette. Can't see if the security guy is calling on me. He got glare on his windshield. He's the one that was yelling at me last time that he doesn't give me permission to record him. There's that fancy gate again, it goes up in the air. A couple people like that about it. I'm wondering what happened if that thing was going halfway down, that gear broke. That thing just dropped on somebody or something. Even being aluminum, that thing would be heavy. I don't know how big that gear is in there. Not sure. Oh, a nice cool breeze coming through here. Anyway, that guy that works right over there. When I come back the first time, which I was talking to him. He said he saw everything that happened. He said, yeah, I was leaving. He could see that from where he was at, that I was leaving when I was attacked. And I got him on video saying that. But here we go. I would go for a walk, take you all on a walk around the other way around there to go down that way and around and the other side of that over there and see how good you can see everything from over there. You can see a lot more from over there. It's the rail trail, which is public property and anybody can walk on it. And you can see a lot more from over there than you can see from here. When they attacked me, I was gonna go over there after I left here from this side, but they attacked me. So I didn't make it over there. Golf cart. Well, usually when those people come around, it's usually the authoritative type people that want to come and start yelling orders and shit. He didn't say nothing. He just drove on past.
Well, there we go. But anyway, for anybody else that's just showed up, I had, a, oh, I had 10 people, now I'm back down to nine. Um, but the charges were dismissed. They say unable to prioritize because of COVID-19. I think it's just using that as an excuse because they didn't want to try that one. They didn't want to take that one to court. Because I know some people on the, sent them copies of the video that I posted online. So they knew what they were dealing with. Because I can go over there to the transit system. I can go over there to the transit spot where they board the buses. Now they don't say nothing to me because I know a bunch of people called and I appreciate everybody doing that. Letting them know that they're wrong. I know it wasn't just me that did it. That without the calls, they would have never done nothing. They would have kept doing what they were doing. Yeah, I watch Legalized Drugs. I love that channel. He's awesome, man. I like the way he does shit. I watch this thing about filing a lawsuit, too. And I watch a bunch of other ones about that. I watch it. Um, hey, Georgia Constitution Media, how are you, man? Mr. Bloody Wolf. Okay, it went away. All right, thank you. I appreciate all y'all being here, hanging out with me here, even though I'm kind of shaky on this thing. Oh, good, yeah, thank you. Yeah, they dismissed them. They dismissed the charges. I didn't, if I could, they never let me know though. I didn't go until I got there, went in and saw the little screen above the, by the courtroom, my name wasn't on it. So I went up to the clerk, and the clerk said, no, nope, it's been dismissed. And they gave me the paperwork saying that both charges have been dismissed. Here comes that girl that was here. I'm pretty sure that's her that was here last time, the first time I was here. She walked in the perimeter. I don't know how you could y'all can see it. There she goes behind the car. Eminem, hey man, how's it going? Nice to have you here. We're just hanging out here, talking about dismissed charges. And now I get to file. Oop, she went through the gate over there. I'm thinking that's the one that was in her car. Morning, Jason. Oh, ah, it might be morning where you're at this afternoon here. Oh, hook me up with a gimbal, that'd be nice. I could go buy one of those, but I don't know if I want to spend all that money to for carry this phone around. I got me a used um, Sony Handycam off the internet, because you know how people like to break your stuff when you're recording. And this phone in my hand, Kind of cost a bit of money, and I don't want it broken. Because I don't want to replace this phone. <laughs> this isn't a cheap phone. The Handycam is cheap. It was like a hundred bucks or something like that. It was refurbished. And that's what I usually film on now since I got that. Does a good job. Does good video. Zooms in really nice. And didn't cost her anything, so if it gets broken, I'm not out much. The phone case on this one saved it because this is one I was using when when um, the guy attacked me. He knocked it out of my hand, and it hit the ground, hit that concrete over there. But the phone case saved it from being broken. But if you watch the very end of that video, you can see the um, vents. Jamie Vance, the guard, the white guard that was with him, he's the one who had my phone in his hand when it went off. He turned my phone completely off because when I got it back, it was turned completely off. Not just the video turned off, the phone was completely turned off. 
Okay, I missed those. Eh, I missed something. Somebody said something, I missed it. It goes away really fast. It doesn't stay up. I gotta figure out how to make it stay up. Oh, my knees are starting to cramp up sitting down here. I ought to sit on their bench over there. I bet they'd get upset about that. They got that bench right there. I'm staying off their property right now. I don't think they'd say a diddly squat if I go on there though. Because there's no signs, none, still no signs. And they were screaming that it's private property. I mean, he was screeching that it was private property. And it's not, I got all kinds of paperwork saying this is public property, that it's city owned. I got an email from CATS because I um, did a Freedom of Information Act request for the contract between CATS and the city of Charlotte. And I put, it worded it, the private company, Charlotte, Trans, Charlotte Area Transit Authority. Get a monopod for the Handycam. Yeah, I need that. <laughs> Jason forgot about the time difference. <laughs> I forget about it all the time. You think your world's the only one that exists? My world's the only one that exists, too. <laughs> uh, um, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. And they sent me an email back telling me that it was a, Cats and Links both were departments of the city of Charlotte. So it's all Charlotte. I just wanted to get that email. I already knew it does because their website says it. But I just wanted an email saying that. And they did it. They gave it to me. They gave me an email saying that. So when they were they were well aware that this was city of Charlotte property, because their contract is with the city of Charlotte and Cats, the Department of Cats. Yeah, I got that contract. I'm betting. That, I'm willing to bet they don't think I could, they didn't think I could get that contract, but I got it. And it says in there that the contract says that they're supposed to know, be aware of false federal state and local laws and they prove that they aren't so g4s does not educate their idiots that they hire that's why they settle suits so fast they don't want to go to court but i found two cases one for reed v4gs and another one i forgot what the name of it was but 4gs somebody else got them and both of them said that 4GS people do not have qualified immunity. None whatsoever. So. Sounds like an easy win. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure it's an easy win because he attacked me. I'm on public property and he attacked me. And I'm gonna post the reports. I'm going to post the reports that they um, filed. The one of them that sent him out here, the sergeant that sent him out here to attack me, put in his report that I was a First Amendment auditor. So he knew this was a First Amendment protected activity. He knew it and still sent him out here to attack me. That's a confession, an outright confession. So I'll tell you what. I don't know. It'll be fun. I think they're, they're used to dealing with homeless people, and that's who they're usually chasing off, is homeless people. I think that's what that security guy is here for, to make sure no homeless people hang out here. And they're used to homeless people not fighting back or anything, and not having the money to fight them. Their problem is, I'm a contractor. I've had to sue people to get paid before. I know how to file the suit. The first time I did it, I used an attorney. The second two times I did it, I did it all by myself. So I know how to do it. It's not that hard. So they're going to have me crawling up their ass now. And I'm going to get them for two different cases, two different 1983 cases, one for here and one for at the transit center when they chase me off.
Well, there's nothing gonna happen here. Last time I was here, I was here for over an hour watching them load that um, rail car here. And nobody ever showed up to say anything, except for that security guy yelled at me. Somebody just said something else while I was looking away and now it's gone, so. I'll get it when somebody else says something. I'm in the shade here. Oh, yeah, the knees don't like that standing up. I don't have my handy cam with me today. I left it home. But handy cam doesn't go live. I wanted to do this one live. Well, that's my update. We've been going on for over 20 minutes here. We got the buses down that way. Trains over there. The garage is right there. And garages down there. They got garages everywhere, don't they? Got a lot of buses to work on. Well, it's about lunchtime. I need to go get me something to eat. So I'm going to head on out. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you. Appreciate everybody that called in to 4GS in the city and cats to tell them about their problems with attacking me, and I appreciate it. I would send them a notice of intent to sue. May I have to go through court? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I was thinking about that, but the problem is, you don't set case law if you don't go to court. Wouldn't it be nice to have another case law here in the 4th District? It hasn't been ruled on here in the 4th District. It'll cost me some money to do it, but it'll be good. It'll be good for everybody, not just me. Because then I get paid and get the case law set. I'd like to get that case law set. Because the more districts have that case ruling in there, the better. So the next person that gets attacked can even get a bigger lawsuit. Yep, 405 to, to file. Um, I got double that in my wallet, so I guess I can afford it. The problem is, is you have to keep paying for other shit. Yeah, I, took, I, I filled my wallet up before I went to court in case they arrest me again. I took cash with me so I'd have cash on me so I'd have money in the jail if I went to jail. <laughs> I was thinking ahead. Thinking ahead. Fuck DSS. Hey, hey, how you doing, man? I'm going to drop my drink here. We're in um, Charlotte, North Carolina. We're at the back of the catch yard, Charlotte Transit, Charlotte Area Transit Authority. They got the mercenaries, 4GS working for them. They like to attack people for being on public property. Well, Oh, you're in, fuck DSS, you're in Charlotte? Oh, I didn't know you were in Charlotte, man. Charlotte News, I believe it was Charlotte News Now. Um, haven't seen anything from him in a long time. I don't know what happened. And I didn't even know you were here. You're about an hour out? Well, I'm about 30 minutes out. I'm Concord. I live in Concord. 
There's just more happens down here in Charlotte. Not much happens in Concord. Concord police are cool as hell, man. They'll come out and talk to you as all. Just like Kannapolis, they'll do the same thing. They won't bother you. When I, when I was talking to the Concord cops, they didn't seem to think much of G4S, <laughs> the way they were talking. Oh, Charlotte News now changed his name? I didn't know that. He did pretty good work. In South Charlotte, okay. We're, in, we're off the South Boulevard and Clanton Road down here right now. No problem for the update. I had to get something out there. People always ask, and you know how these cases take, they take years sometimes. Yeah, they, yeah, cops don't like pretend cops. They'll still cover for them though. Cause when I went and tried to press charges on that asshole for attacking me, the cops said I can't do it. They won't let me. I was hoping it'd be in a courtroom and do it in the courtroom. Pineville police are terrible. Uh, um, News Now Charlotte did Pineville and they were pretty cool down there. He didn't have any trouble. Lady in the city hall was from Florida. She gave him everything he wanted on the Freedom of Information Act stuff. They just handed it out to him. And she said, yep, it's public information and he had a right to it. And she just gave him everything. But, um, I'll have to try um, Pineville out then. I'll take that drive. Um, so, well, if, um, if he's a registered offender, you know, I'd have to know what it was all about because you know these charges just like I got here. I'd have to know. I, I can't put anybody down just for having charges on them because you don't know why they were charged, what happened. Now, if we can find out what happened and everything, there was reason, because there might not even be any reason for them to be charged. It might be all fake crap, man. Seen it happen too many times. He didn't seem to like me. He gave me a dirty look. Morning, how you doing? Oh, afternoon. <laughs> yeah, I almost said morning. Chris Toffer, huh? He keeps emailing me. Well, I saw one of his emails. I had trouble with my phone now, the phone that I had that on. I don't want to put that email on my computer. I'll see if I can get it to come up. It's a pay-as-you-go phone, so it's a pain in the butt. Yeah, you have to be safe. Yep, you have to be safe. You don't want to be caught out there with anything. Well, we've had 30 minutes. Good chat. Hanging out. I usually don't talk this much. I'm the quiet type. If you ever watch my videos, most of the time I don't say hardly anything. So I'm going to head on out, y'all. Appreciate you being here. Like, subscribe, share. Yell at me if you want to. I don't care. 